We have a boss called the Reaper. He is everything the witch is, but flipped and male. During the daytime, he will be stationary, and he won't move around much. But during the nighttime is when he becomes active, and he will he will walk around or roam, like similar to the witch does in the daytime. For the witch, you have to avoid line of sight, stay away from her as far as possible, try not to aggro her, you know, do all the things you have to do with the witch. For the reaper, it's actually the opposite. If the reaper locks eyes with you, you cannot break line of sight with the reaper. The characteristic of the reaper is that once he locks eyes with you, you cannot break line of sight until he loses interest and targets another player. The player cannot break line of sight in any way. He must continuously stare down the reaper and if you get behind a wall or a car, something that breaks line of sight, he, that will cause him to aggro and chase you down. He is, his attack pattern is similar to the witch that he will one hit you down, but the thing is after he one hits you down, he will turn and start to search for other players rather than try to kill the player he, t he took down. When the reaper um, catches you in his line of sight, you will get a notification similar to the witch that will say the reaper has seen you. At that point, you must have a staring contest with the reaper while you try to make your way past him. The reaper's appearance is that of a frail, sickly old man, robed with a hood on top, and while he is usually found in the night, when he's roaming, his eyes have a luminescent glow to them. You will be able to see, if you can't see him, you will be able to see his eyes in the darkness. The witch and reaper do share some common traits, they both have sharp ends elongated fingers, not exactly creative, albeit the reaper would bundle his fingers, which would kind of resemble the shape of a thin scythe blade, hence the name reaper. The witch and reaper have the same stats, same HP, speed, reaction time, keenness, etc. Hitting the witch and reaper with any damage will alert them and prompt an attack. If the reaper incapped you or down you, and you still continue to inflict damage to him, then he will attempt to kill you like the witch. He's essentially the male counterpart of the witch. The reaper doesn't like to go after another infected prey, so any survivors that's pinned down are temporarily safe from the reaper, including his selected target. Once they're pinned down, the chain or channel between that survivor and reaper disperses, freeing the survivor from the reaper's grabs. Even if the survivor comes in contact with the reaper, the reaper will not make a move, it will agitate him, so it will be worse for his next target. Same going for any nearby infected around his target, the reaper will be more lax and lenient with the target, permitting that survivor to avert his eyes, allowing him to look at another direction for the sole reason of killing the nearby infected that's within that survivor's proximity uh, because they're intruding or interfering in their game, I, I guess, or their staring contest. Now, once the reaper down or kills someone, he will quickly reset and revert back to his passive state and be apathetic for a short period, will not be searching for survivors for that whole duration, providing adequate time for the survivors to pick up their buddy or to escape, depending on the circumstances. Shining a flashlight on a witch will startle her and trigger an attack. Well, on the flip side, shining a flashlight on a reaper will actually cause him to look away or lose interest quicker, but you must be directly in his face, which can be scary. The witch has a strange attraction to the smell of sugar, well, the reaper will have a strange attraction to the stench of death. So why does the reaper do this whole staring contest thing? Well, it's his method for identifying the weak, practically process of elimination. From his perspective, it's a sign of weakness or fear if you avert your eyes or gaze. It reveals that you lack confidence or strength, that you're feeling intimidated. Well, with the exception of a third party intervening and attempting to attack his target that will disrupt the reaper's technique for identifying the weak. Next we have an idea called the reaper. He is the male equivalent of the rich but just flip everything that makes the witch her. Bitch! That sounded stupid. Okay. Okay. Next we have an... 
want to say an unplayable boss. Uh, next we have a boss, fuck it. Freeing that survivor from the reaper's grabs, figure that Figuratively, 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 fi figuratively, oh my gosh. Some would say I'm the reverse.